Lou Graham turned 60 this month. That's a milestone for him and for his many fans here who remember Lou from his boyhood in Gates and his 27 years as lead singer for the band Foreigner. A health scare in 1997 left Lou Graham with little to sing about, but as 13 Wins Doug Emlich found out, Lou Graham is feeling better and enjoying life again. And in fact, Holly, Lou Graham feels a lot better at 60 than he did at 50. Ten years ago, he was still reeling from that surgery to remove a brain tumor that would have killed him. And while the operation saved his life, the aftermath affected his pituitary gland and left Lou with a perfect storm of health problems that he only recently got under control. Now he's enjoying some better health, a clearer head, and enjoying bringing his 10-year-old twins on the road with the Lou Graham Band. I always intended it to be a weekend band, and that's, that's basically what we do. We leave Thursday, we play Friday and Saturday, and come home Sunday. And, and uh, job's done, you know, uh, crowd's happy, everybody gets paid. And uh, I, I have another four or five days with the twins. Part-time rock star. Kind of a... That doesn't, doesn't sound right, does it? Um, it works for me. They're part of this band, and Lou's twins often join their dad to sing on stage for the hot-blooded encore. The full interview with Lou will be up on 13wham.com later today. Reporting live, Doug Emblidge, 13 Wham News. That Thank voice. You, wow, don't I remember it. Still much more ahead on 13 Wham News this morning. To hear it surprises foreigner fans to hear that the band is not yet in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. They certainly had the hits and the staying power to warrant induction. 13 Wham's Doug Emblidge asked Rochester's Lou Graham about the induction that hasn't and may never happen. Norma Lou Graham, Lou Grammatico, to those who grew up with him in Gates, talked with me about that in an exclusive interview. Lou is no longer the singer with Foreigner, but he did do that for 27 years, and he was the voice behind every single one of those 20 Foreigner hits. Lou told me what he's heard about why Foreigner is not a Hall of Fame band. The story that I heard, and, and I just heard this after years of not knowing why, was that Mick more or less instigated Foreigner's management to to have a meeting with those people and find out, you know, if we were going to get in and all that, and, and it ended up being a huge falling out with them. It was not it was not a positive meeting, and it ended up be, being a, a disaster. From what I heard. Um, that that the end result was that Foreigner will never be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And Lou refers to Mick there. He's talking about Mick Jones, one of the uh, founders of Foreigner, who still plays with the band. Coming up at 625, Lou Graham tells us about a night that changed and possibly saved his life. Reporting live. Rochester's rock star Lou Graham celebrated his 60th birthday this month. 13 Wham's Doug Emlidge sat down with the former lead singer of Foreigner to talk about the milestone that Lou calls just a number. I sat down for this interview with Lou Graham last week, just days after that birthday, and I found him to be as open and frank as he's ever been in an interview, uh, at least one with me. Even before the brain tumor that caused so many health problems, Lou had another life or death scare. It was in 1992 when Lou Grammatico, the boy from Gates who had had so much success with Foreigner, decided his life was out of control. One night after um a foreigner played Madison Square Garden, and uh, although it was a it was a very good show, uh, the after party with the record company people and everything turned out to be one of those ones that you uh, made it back to your room somehow around five in the morning, a and uh, I, I just couldn't stand that life anymore and, and uh, I, I, uh, I, I fell to my knees and, and asked God to help me and uh, ended up calling a friend of mine who had been someone that I'd partied with through the years and, and was now clean and sober and um, he had told me about the rehab that he had been to and 
I, I went right from that hotel uh, right to, to LaGuardia and, and was met in Minneapolis by someone from the Hazleton organization. And uh, it was a... It was a real cleansing process, inside and out, and uh, I, I left there feeling more different than I, I had been in 25 years, and, and intended to stay that way, and I have. The full interview with Lou Graham will be up on 13wham.com later today. We have more news coming up next. Rochester's most famous rock star turned 60 years old this month. And while Lou Graham says 60 is just a number, it's also a milestone that he almost did not see. 13wham's Doug Amlich spoke exclusively with Lou Graham about his recovery from brain surgery and why he'll keep singing the hits, at least for a while. Since surgery for a brain tumor 13 years ago, Lou Graham's life has been anything but what one might imagine for a successful rock and roll singer. Four decades after the world first heard his voice, Lou Graham still singing. But now his twins help with the encore. They're ten and a half years old now, and and we do a lot of things together, you know. And, and I thank God that that I'm I'm uh, cognizant and able to do the things that they want to do. At sixty, this boy from Gates is doing a lot better than he was at fifty, when his mind and body were still reeling from surgery to remove a brain tumor, a tumor that would have killed him. The recovery has taken years. A regimen of steroids and other prescription drugs left Lou feeling and looking like a stranger to himself. I just didn't even feel like myself, or let alone look like myself. And uh, it, it was kind of a nightmare for a bunch of years. I think uh, self-esteem was, was right down the dumper. My, my creativity wa was null and void. Um, I even just had trouble putting sentences together. Lou feels mentally sharp again, has dropped 60 pounds, and says he feels better now than he has in years. Girlfriend Robin Lee Butera helps to book the Lou Graham Band's schedule, mostly weekend shows around the country. So he is a part-time rock star who is starting to think about retirement. While I have no intentions of rocking the crowd, you know, for another five years. I'm um, quietly trying to, to figure out when I'd like to to put a cap on this thing and, and call it a career. And I, I think that's not too far away. You know, I, I think it's ridiculous to, to see uh, these old farts on stage, you know, still shaking their little skinny butts. But even when he's 70, it's unlikely Lou Gramatico will ever stop hearing people ask him this. When are you getting back with Foreigner, Lou? The current Foreigner still has founder Mick Jones, but someone else is singing the songs that Lou helped famous. I, I think my time with that band has run its course, and I don't know Mick's reason for keeping the name around. Uh, I think it's, it's probably just a, a vehicle for him to Go out and have fun. More power to him. Graham jokes about applying at Wegmans, but it's more likely he'll keep writing and producing and enjoying moments he knows he could have missed. Lou Graham released a Christian rock album last July. He's planning to record again soon. The full interview with Lou Graham will be available today later on on 13wham.com. And you get asked about him a lot, too, since you've interviewed him, right? A lot of emails about him. There's a lot of interest. I mean, people, I'm trying to think of somebody more famous in terms of rock to come out of Russia. There's nobody. Yeah. There really is not. You know, that voice, whenever I hear his voice, it takes me back to when I grew up. That's the mm -hmm. stuff we used to listen to at home. And I just remember every time I go, wow, it just reminds me of being home. One of the most important things about this story for me was clearing up a lot of misunderstandings people had yes. about his surgery in 1997 to remove that brain tumor affected his pituitary gland, which affects every 
function in your body. Yeah. And he really went six or seven years never feeling like he knew himself. Mm -hmm. He didn't look like the old Lou. Yeah. He didn't he couldn't put two sentences together. Wow. And a lot of people misinterpreted that. Is he into drugs? Mm -hmm. Is he it just it's been a real battle for him, and now as he turns 60, he really seemed very comfortable in his own skin. Yeah. And, and he loves those to be kids. Happy to be doing what he's doing and spending time with his two younger kids. Of course, he's got two older kids as well, yeah. but uh, good guy. Just one of the most humble, nice guys you'll ever very meet. Very soft-spoken. Yeah, very. Uh -huh.